Yes, this is exactly what you think it is. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Dustin and this is exactly what you think it is. This is the unboxing of the... God damn it, Facebook. This is going to be the unboxing of the brand new, yet to be uh, released, Folger Tech 5 or FT-5. Um, this is the fifth kit of the Folger Tech lineup and this is, uh, I think, our first custom design. Um, and this thing is... God damn it, Facebook! There, I've turned off <laughs> my sound on my computer. I posted a picture of this on the Facebook group for Folger Tech stuff, and all of a sudden people are like, Oh my god, you got one! Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's what that is. So, yeah, go go, go join the Facebook group. Anyway, um, this is a, a, a large format printer. This thing is freaking massive. This thing can do 12 by 12 by 16 inches. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. But this is going to be just the unboxing. Um, this is a beta unit. This is not the final release version. So if there's stuff in here that you don't have or vice versa, whatever, um, that's, don't worry about it. Um, this is the, a beta unit. So what you see here may not reflect what the actual unit's going to have and all that kind of stuff. So you guys know the rules. You first need a cool knife. And I almost couldn't find this, actually. I had to go digging on my desk to find the thing. But... I got it, so we'll be able to actually open this up correctly, so let's do it. I should also mention the love and caring that FedEx, you know, FedEx is FedEx. Good job, guys. And inside you get another box. Actually, it's just the flaps, but I was fully expecting to see parts, and it's just like, oh, more cardboard. Well, I was, I was right. More paper. We always have this issue. Of course, it's not an issue because I don't want stuff breaking and shipping, but always with the paper. Hey, look, another shirt. Is it? It's a XL. Yes. It's pretty good actually because the uh, I got one of these already, and it was a large, which. I'm kind of an XL, but kind of a large, so the uh, the large is slightly small on me. So this will fit much more better. Much, much more betters. And so here it is, the monstrosity that is uh, the, the Folger Tech 5, or FT5. This thing is, um, this box weighs 45 pounds. Without that paper, it weighs 45 pounds because paper is light. To give you guys a, a uh, an idea of scale here, here's a tape measure. This box is 22 by 23-ish. Um, so yeah, this is a. These are parts for it. I think the uh, the final dimensions of this printer when it's fully assembled is like 500 by 520 by 700 and something millimeter. So it's like two by two by three feet more or less. So yeah, that's a. Uh, Pretty big, so let's see. Ugh. So first order of business is going to be uh, this is the uh, uh, laser cut melamine part. It's basically just more of the hand blackening material. You know, it's the laser cut kind of wood, kind of not stuff. But yeah, this is a lot of this printer um, is this stuff. The main frame is 2020, which you'll see in a minute. But this is. Uh, kind of like this different support pieces and like kind of the where things mount to stuff like that you'll see you'll see don't worry i can't show you it on camera but uh, they also sent me all of my pay stubs that i've made since uh, i started working for them i do direct de direct deposit with them but i guess they uh i guess they get the actual paper checks in the mail as well so <laughs> they sent me a whole pile of my checks that's pretty funny now this is a heated bed if i ever seen one this is a 300 by 300 a uh, bed with aluminum plate so you can actually um, put the aluminum plate on top and not have to use glass or something like that but this thing is freaking massive holy crap awesome but that that aluminum bed really really helps the cool thing about having an aluminum bed is you will be able to put a uh, induction sensor for auto bed leveling and because this is a cartesian printer and not a delta printer bed leveling might actually work These, this is the cool thing. Electronics. This is the MKS board. Um, 
On this printer, we are not using the ramps and mega board. Um, those are really cheap, which is good for those cheap printers, but um, they do have their limitations, and this printer being as big as it is, and with the bed as big as it is and all that, it kind of exceeds the ability of the, uh, the ramps. And the ramps is not really that reliable and all that kind of stuff, so. This is the MKS board, which is supposed to be much more better, so. It's got end stops, uh, stepper drivers, it does use the same stepper drivers, which I like because the ones I'm, I don't ever screw with micro, micro stepping, and uh, these stepper drivers are pretty good. So that'll work. 2004 LCD comes standard with every kit, at least mine. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna come standard. Yeah, that'll be. There's a little mount right on the front. So cool, more wireless printing. <clears throat> Miscellaneous. Or miscellaneous. I don't know the correct way to say it, but that word. It looks like it's just, oh, yeah, wire chain. Look at this. This is going to look really sexy when you get it all figured out. Wire chain and uh, even a piece of, what is that? That's conduit. Why is there conduit? What is that? Is it metallic? Non-metallic. Above ground and... Why, did, why is there a little tiny thing a conduit? Hmm. Maybe for a spool holder? I don't know. It's also got that little screwdriver in there. Um, hmm. I'll get back to that. It's got all the electro electrical, well, some of the electrical stuff, the, uh, um, that. The outlet. Um, big thing that I, that I know already is, um, they forgot to include the fuse for this, um, just in these beta kits. But that will be fixed when the, uh, actual kits ship. And it's fine because I picked up some, because I was told ahead of time, so I got some from work yesterday. Cool. It's also got the, uh, the, the ceramic screwdriver, so I'll now have four with three of them being gone. Like everything. What is the hell? Well, I would tell you what's in this, but, um, I... I I don't think anything's... I, I don't know about this one. Um, I'm going to open this up and see what's in it. So I can keep a note of that. Uh, what the hell is this? What in the frick? Uh, oh, okay. It's laser cut stuff. Laser cut melamine bag. A bag of laser cut melamine. I'm guessing that's what's in here too, so that's fine. Um I mean, do you need any more explanation? It's just a bag of wire. What there's braided cable in here. What's that for? I think it's for the bed, the heat the heated bed. What? Yeah, I'm guessing that's for the heaters. Awesome braided cable. Look at that. That's awesome. Got a metric butt ton of wire. <laughs> and the stupid green connectors. Um huh. Cool. Big bag of wire. <laughs> this is a uh, departure from uh, reality. Um, these are motors, and these are six of the five kilogram motors. Um, the Pretty much all the other printer kits either use the, I think it's 2.6 or 4.8 stepper motors. Um, in some of the smaller axes, you don't need a big stepper, so they use the smaller steppers. But in this printer, all of the steppers are gigantic. It, even the uh, extruder uh, motor uses these big old 5 kilogram stepper motors. So this thing is uh, beastly when it comes to uh, the power that they put out. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll try to update my tuning video with these once I know what I need to tune them to. I will learn that when I put the thing together. Some people don't like that this bag of hardware is just a bag of loose hardware, but I kind of like it. I, I've said this before. I, I prefer it this way. Um, I don't know why. I just I like digging through the big pile of stuff to find what I need. And I'm being honest with that, I really do, I don't know why. 
but I, I'm totally cool with it. Whereas some people complain, it's like, oh, you should have sorted them, it's like, well, if you want to come and help, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I, I like it this way, so yeah. Big bag of hardware. This looks like, oh, hit my camera. Oh, these are slider rails. So this um, actually uses those linear slider rails instead of like a smooth rod, like a, a chrome rod that bearings slide over. This actually uses rails that ride, so um, really, really sturdy and strong and reliable this thing here is going to be. That's cool. I should check Facebook since I turned it off. Oh my gosh, I have 15 notifications. I'm going to not check Facebook because obviously people like me. This is actual chrome rods um, and also the lead screws for the printer. Um, so this does use a few rods and that's mainly just for the uh, z-axis. It rides up them because rails would kind of be useless. Um, but it uses uh, two lead screws on the bed. Uh, one on, I think it's the left and right side, so that's really cool. Going to be super strong. That was my biggest thing about the cloner, is because it's only on one side, it tends to want to warp a little bit. Not, not very much at all, but um, just a little bit can throw things off, so this is going to make it super sturdy, so that's really cool. Ooh, the plot thickens. This bag was opened. They might need a different bag for that, um, because there's quite a few things. Yeah. Uh, let me write that into the doc. Okay, I'm back. So this looks like all the stuff that came out of it. A couple of the feet, <clears throat> a couple of uh, a couple of lead screws, or the you know what they are, the lead screw nuts and all that. So you can see with this bag. So uh, I put in the notes that this bag seems to be a little bit too small for all these parts. So I'll uh, maybe they'll make this bag a little bit bigger so this doesn't happen because with parts coming out of here in that hole over there, it would be kind of easy for one of these things to just leave during shipping and that would be very good. So, but like I said, beta unit, so that's all right. But this has got uh, uh, bearings and the rubber feet, lead screws, uh, lead screw nut, stuff like that. So yeah. <clears throat> so this looks like the extruder, um, yeah, just the extruder uh, assembly itself, um, which is fine because I have a few of these, so if I need spares, I got them. Comes with two fans. That's pretty cool. Oh my god! Well, you saw that live. Um, this bag ripped open. So let's see what I've lost. Um, so anyway, this is the bag of belts and pulleys, and the, the bag ripped open. Um, uh, I, I'm assuming that that doesn't normally happen, that was just a fluke, but let me uh, get on my floor and see if there's anything else on the floor. So I think I got everything, so yeah, that, that ripped open and stuff went out, so that could have been bad as well. But I don't think it was because it was overstuffed, it just ripped. So I don't know if it got hit by something or what, but it did rip open, so that's interesting. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have an electrical cord, so, you know, AC cord, alternating current cord. That's it. Um, power supply, and that's a 360 watts, 12 volt, 30 amp power supply. Yeah, it's 12 times 33. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, don't forget to select your voltage. That means on the side, whatever side it is, there's a little switch between 110 and 220 uh, volts. So make sure you select that. Um, if you're in the United States, use 110. If you're in Europe and you use 220 or whatever, 240, whatever it is, make sure you pick that. So, or else this thing could go kablooey if you're not careful. So keep that in mind. So these things, I'm assuming, were taped together, but I guess the tape didn't really hold. But this is uh, most of the 2020 beams. Actually, there are some 2040 beams in there. I should be on camera. Uh, like this one right here, that's actually a 2040 instead of a 2020. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me put this over here. <sighs> 
This thing is just massive. And then we also have uh, some of the really tall, I think these are 700 some odd millimeter long. And this is for the Z height, so <laughs> it kind of shows you how tall this thing's going to be. Of course, you can't see it, but it's tall. Just trust me. Got bad news though. There was no jelly beans. I am disappointed. It's okay, guys. I know. I know. It's a beta unit. The jelly beans only come on the regular ones. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, um, where do I put this? Onward! <laughs> So for the sake of not having any more room, um, I'm going to not include the big gigantic panel of melamine, which was that first thing that I did, and also the big old heated bed. But other than that, in the kit you're probably going to have something similar to this. Like I said, remember this is the beta unit, so it might be slightly different. But it looks like we're going to have a 2020 extrusion, motor wire, big old thing of motors, what the hell is that? Oh, okay. This, this. That was weird. It was like squeaking like there's a mouse in there or something. Um, electronics, the MKS board and all that. Pulleys and uh, belt. Miscellaneous stuff. AC cord. Chrome uh, rods and lead screws. The slider rails. Mounting hardware. Extruder. A bag of hardware. 2004 LCD. Two bags of... Uh, laser cut, smaller bags of laser cut um, stuff, um, power supply, and then those two things over there. I think the shirt might be just mine, but I'm not sure if the shirt comes with it. Someone let me know. Other than that, that was an unboxing. I'm going to spend uh, some amount of time putting this together. Cool part is, because it's a beta unit, the, uh, the build guide is not quite finished yet, so that's going to be fun, but I will let you guys know how that goes. So... Thank you all for watching, and for those of you who are interested in buying this, um, I will put a link in the description to the link to this. Uh, this video is probably going to be out before it's officially on sale, but there is a pre-sale, um, so you can pre-order it if you are really, really into getting this thing. So, link will be in that description. Uh, Voltage Tech Facebook group will be on there as well. Go join, it's awesome. You'll see updates from this on there, all that kind of stuff. Anyway. Ah, thank you for watching, and until the next time, until the next video, I will see y'all later.